Hello, my name is Lorenzo and in this video tutorial I'll show you how to create an event that has different pricing options as well as an all access option. So let's get started. To help you understand I'll actually add in some details here and let's take a look. So for this example let's say that we're planning a gardening workshop that has an introductory class and then later on it has an advanced class. Okay, So we have the dates here for the different classes and then we have pricing for those classes as well as an all access option or another way to think of this is if you pick this option then it gets you access to both the introductory class as well as the advanced class alright so those are the details that we'll be working with and let's continue working on this event so we can add an intro so we'll say a gardening workshop for terrariums alright and then we'll move down and let's start working on those dates. So the first date that we have is August 4th. So we'll go ahead and use the date time selector to select the 4th at 10.45. Okay. And we want this to wrap up at 12 p.m. that day. So we'll move this back and then move this back and then click on done. Alright, so we've just set up the first date. What we can actually do to save a little bit of time is to actually duplicate this. So I'll click on the duplicate button. And now we can add in some information. So let's say that the first date is actually the introductory class. So introduction to terrariums. And then the second date is the advanced terrarium design. Okay, so keep in mind that we just duplicated this one here to save a little bit of time, but we actually still need to update the date from the 4th to the 11th. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So I'll select the 11th and then click on done. And then we can take a quick break and just double check. So we have our name, the event date for the first introductory class, and then we have the second class. Okay, so we've taken care of the dates. Now let's move on to the pricing. All right, so we can go ahead and start updating these details. So let's say that this is registration for introductory class or workshop, all right? And then what I wanna do is adjust the sell until, and we want this to be available until the day before, and then we'll click on done. And now we can enter in our pricing. So we have 50 bucks for this workshop, and we do not have a limit so we will actually remove that and now what we can do to save a little bit of time is to duplicate this one and then we'll say this one is the registration for the advanced workshop we'll leave the dates the pricing looks good okay so now what we need is we need a third pricing option that says alright if I pick this one up I should have access to this option as well as this option. So let's go ahead and duplicate this one more time. All right, so registration for both workshops. And now let's set this price at 85. Okay, so now what we need to do is to take a look at these individual date times and actually double check the access. So let me show you what that means going to click on this uh, gear icon here and when I click on it you can see that it says which pricing options it's currently assigned to so the introductory class is currently assigned to everything so we want to actually keep it assigned to the introductory keep it assigned to the both workshops option and then remove it from the advanced okay then we'll go back and do something similar for the advanced one. So for the advanced, we want to keep that one. We also want to keep the registration for both workshops and then pull access for the intro. Okay? All right, so we've just set up those date times and now we've set up the pricing options. Let's go ahead and go up and save changes. And now let's take a look at this event on the front end. And here you can see the pricing options that we've created. So again, this is a two-class workshop. We have an intro class or an advanced class. And here are the pricing options. Hope you found this helpful. Thanks.